Hey everybody, how's it going today? Ian back here with your Entertainment Examiner. Hey, today I'm going to be reviewing a movie called Darkest Hour. Uh, this is sure to be an Oscar contender for Gary Oldman, who is absolutely mesmerizing and brilliant in this film, as Winston Churchill. Uh, this is, is a movie uh, uh, that is uh, directed by Joe Wright. The, the movie is set during May of 1940, during the early days of World War II. Uh, German forces have already invaded several countries, and the United Kingdom is trying to keep their own country from being invaded. Um, the uh, England is uh, um, losing at this point and not doing very well, and their parliament is forcing out the current Prime Minister, Neville Chamberlain. And sub they subsequently ask uh, Winston Churchill, played by Gary Oldman, to become the Prime Minister. Uh, I think uh, this is a very good movie. Uh, Gary Oldman is brilliant as Churchill. The makeup is perfect, and his performance really makes him disappear into this very iconic figure that many people throughout the years have played. Most recently, John Lithgow won an Emmy for a fantastic portrayal of Churchill on Netflix's uh, The Crown. But this is an entirely different Churchill. This is an, a younger, earlier Churchill um, that we see here in the, in this film. Um, this is just when he's taking over the prime ministership and, um, being pressured by many in the war cabinet to negotiate peace treaties. And he just does not want to do that. And he does not want to let the Nazi forces win. Um, there are a lot of great things about this movie. Of course, Oldman's performance. Um, I really liked, uh, uh Kristen Scott Thomas who played uh, Churchill's wife. And also, this is part of a story of uh, uh, Lily James' character. She plays his uh, secretary. And we meet her at the beginning of the film, and she's told, you know, a few things about Churchill, you know, what to do, what to do and what not to do. And we see her character evolve as well along with him. So we kind of get... Most of these movies have kind of a fish-out-of-water character so the audience can... Uh, relate more to them, and I think that that's what they do with the Lily James character here. But this movie is centered on Gary Oldman. The, the movie really is not much without him. Not, not to say it's not a good movie or it doesn't play effectively, but they're just, it's kind of a behind the scenes story, if you will. Um, we saw with, with uh, Christopher Nolan's brilliant Dunkirk, kind of the story behind. More so the other part of this story. Much of this movie is centered around winning Dunkirk. But it, but it's told from Churchill and his cabinet's position as the, the as the Nolan film was told from on the ground. You know, the land, the sea, and the air, which was Churchill's great speech that we also see portrayed in this film. Um, I really enjoyed Darkest Hour. It wasn't... It, it could have been a better movie itself, but Oldman's performance was so electrifying, so mesmerizing... And I hope that Gary Oldman, who's, I mean, my gosh, how many movies has the guy done? He's such a fantastic actor. The Fifth Element and Air Force One are just two that come to mind. He, he was nominated for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I mean, he really should have won an Oscar by now, but I think he definitely, hopefully, cross my fingers, will win his first Oscar for his brilliant portrayal of Churchill. And I definitely think he's a front runner to win. But movie-wise, I definitely recommend Darkest Hour. I'll give it a B plus, a three and a half out of four. The movie, I give it a three, but I'm going to bump it up a half just because Oldman was so brilliant. So check out uh, Darkest Hour in theaters now. It's a really good film, especially if you're into history or history about war or um, British history or any kind of history, really. So um, that's all I got for this review for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.